In this screencast, we'll continue our discussion of uh, good old numbers that we studied in the previous screencast, where we talked about um, uh, pairing functions. So let's talk about uh, splitting um, uh, natural numbers, how uh, natural numbers can be split into uh, the left component uh, and uh, the right component. So um, let's um, mm, let's say that we have a z, uh, a z which is equal to the pair of um, x and y, where the pair is the pairing function. Um, for example, if uh, z is equal to 10, then x is equal to 0, and um, y equals uh, 5. Uh, we can uh, uh, then plug in uh, our formula uh, for the pairing function. Uh, this is taken from the um, uh, third chapter of uh, Davis, uh, Waker, and Seagull's uh, text, uh, Computability, Complexity, uh, and uh, uh, Languages, and Languages, and so this is the formula, uh, 2 to the x uh, times 2 uh, times y plus 1 dot minus 1, um, and so we plug in x equals 0 and y equals 5 and get um, uh, 10. So here's another quick example. If z is equal 19 uh, to 19, then uh, x is equal to 2 and uh, um, y is equal uh, to 2 mm, because the pair of uh, 2 and 2 uh, is equal to uh, 2 uh, to the second uh, times 2 times 2 plus 1 uh, dot minus 1, which is equal to... Mm, uh, Four times five dot minus one, and uh, that equals nineteen. Okay, so um, we're going to define uh, two functions, uh, uh, l of z. I can read it as left of z and uh, right of z, um, uh, such that uh, if z is a natural number, then uh, l of z is equal to uh, x. That's the left component of the pair x and y. And um, uh, the right of z is equal to uh, the right component of the pair of x and y, which is equal to uh, y. So we grab a different color, so z, mm, uh, if z is a natural number, then we're splitting z into uh, two numbers. It's left component x and um, right component uh, y, where x and y uh, is the pair uh, whose value is equal to z. Uh, so here's an example, uh, uh, l of 10, uh, the left uh, part of 10 is l of uh, 0 and 5, of the pair of 0 and 5, which is equal to uh, 0. And the uh, right of 10 is uh, the right of um, 0 and 5, uh, which is equal to uh, 5. And left uh, part of 19 is uh, left of the pair um, of 2 and 2, which is equal to 2. And the right of 19 is equal to uh, the right of the pair of 2 and 2, which is also equal to 2. Now, um, let's uh, define L of x and R of x um, and uh, show that they are uh, primitive recursive functions. So, mm, this is a uh, simple lemma. L of z and um, R of z are primitive recursive, which means that they are computable. Not only are they computable, but they are primitive recursively computable. Um, so proof, uh, let's uh, take z to be some uh, uh, natural number. 
then um, there's a unique uh, s solution um, x and y such that the pair of x and y is equal to z mm. and uh, such that x is less than uh, or equal to z and y is uh, less than or equal to z uh, this is just uh, uh, straightforwardly follows from the uh, formal definition of the pairing function then l of z can be defined as the minimalization bounded minimalization of x mm, less than or equal to z uh, of this predicate there exists a y bounded quantification less than or equal to uh, z such that uh, z is the pair of x and y and um, so this is uh, minimal minimal x uh, then uh, rz can be similarly defined through the bounded minimalization so this is the bounded minimalization of y uh, less than or equal to z uh, such that uh, there exists an x uh, less than or equal to z uh, such that z uh, is the pair of x and y now um, uh, this is obviously primitive recursive because the pairing function is primitive recursive um, this is a formula on natural numbers the equivalent um, uh, predicate the equivalence predicate is also primitive recursive uh, the bounded quantification of a primitive recursive um, predicate uh, is primitive recursive and then the bounded minimalization of a primitive recursive uh, predicate is uh, also primitive recursive so LZ is primitive recursive and RZ is primitive recursive for the same uh, reasons so um, let's quickly summarize uh, the properties of uh, LZ and uh, RZ so LZ and RZ mm, are uh, primitive recursive and uh, uh, LZ, uh, uh, well L of uh, the pair of X and Y um, is equal to X and uh, R of the pair of X and Y is equal to uh, Y then uh, if we uh, take a pair and put it inside a pair um, um, and put uh, inside the pair the, its left component and its right component then we're going to get the same um, natural number so the pair of uh, uh, L of X and Y and the pair of R of X and Y um, will be a Z where Z is the pair of X and Y and uh, uh, the fourth property is that um, uh, um, LZ uh, is less than or equal to Z and uh, R of Z is also less than or equal to Z. Now let's uh, uh, give a formal definition of uh, uh, a Girl uh, number. Uh, so um, let's assume that we have uh, uh, a sequence of natural numbers A1 through AN. So it's a sequence of uh, natural numbers, an arbitrary sequence of natural numbers, but it is a sequence in the sense that the order um, of uh, the elements does matter. It's not a set, it's a, a sequence. Then um, the mm, girdle number corresponding to that sequence, this is the square brackets of A1 through AN, uh, um, is equal to the product uh, of I from 1 to N of uh, uh, primes corresponding primes uh, raised to the uh, corresponding powers uh, um, so where uh, p, uh, p sub i is um, uh, prime number i or the ith prime A quick example. So, so this is this is a, uh, a Gödel uh, number corresponding to that sequence. Mm. 